Today we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Pippi Shell full wall mount. I have it right here, you guys. It came from Amazon. I'm gonna be unboxing it just for you guys. We're gonna check it out. We're actually gonna also be installing it. I have a TV right here. This is actually good for TVs from 13 inches all the way to 42 inches. So that's a pretty good size TV right there. Okay, so let me show you guys everything that's included. We do have, so we have all these bolts. We've got a couple screws over here, a couple nuts, and this is everything that's gonna get us started. Okay, we are gonna pull this out. And this is actually gonna be going on the TV itself. So uh, I have a 32 inch TV here. So let's line this up and that lines up perfectly right there. So I'm gonna be unscrewing these and probably using the one that comes with the TV. But uh, if you guys don't have any that comes with the TV, we actually have some here. So we're gonna be, you know, you can use those too. Okay, so let's keep going. This is the actual mount itself. Okay, let me pull it out so you guys can see it. And I am gonna be installing it. I just kinda of wanna give you guys, uh, show you guys a little bit of a free. Okay, so here it is right here. We're gonna have two, uh, we're gonna have the main bolt going here into a stud. And then we're gonna have the one at the bottom here. So that's two right there. And then you guys can see it moves just like so. And then this comes out right here. It's kind of hard, but once the once we get the TV on there and we bolt it in, it's gonna be a lot easier to move around. It's just kind of hard because there's no weight on it right now. Okay, so we're gonna be setting this up. So you guys, this is the brand name right here if you guys wanna check that out. We're gonna be putting that on and then um, we're gonna be screwing everything in. I'm gonna show you guys how to install now. So of course it comes with instructions. So we have our instruction manual right here. And then we also have, these are like extenders. If, let me see, where's my mount at? Like you could put, actually put them on here and like depending on your TV, the way it is in the back, like depending on like if you need extenders or different supports right here. So that's what these are. There's four of them. They all go on one side. So that's how, it, that's how it's done here. I just got done unscrewing the four screws. I thought they were gonna be a little bit shorter, but these are pretty good length. So I'm gonna be able to screw it in like so, and then it's gonna go that far into the TV uh, times four. So we're gonna be good to go there. I did wanna show you guys that this is the easy, easiest way to do it. What we're gonna do is when we screw all these four in, you wanna make sure, um, let's see, this, this uh, open circle right here is at the top and the groove is at the bottom. Because once you mount this up here, you're gonna, go ahead and grab the TV and then you're just gonna place it just right on here like so I got to take these screws out of the way so they could actually go but what, what it is is all the weight of the TV all you have to do is kind of like come down and then place it on here and then you're gonna be able to screw these in on the top and then that's gonna be the the best way to do it because if you do it any other way it's gonna be the TV is gonna get heavy and stuff like that so you want to screw this in first and then this separately, and then we're gonna grab the TV and then we're gonna put it right on here, if that makes sense. All right, you guys, I got all four of them nice and tight. You wanna have it super tight because you don't want this falling off because your TV is just gonna straight break and it's a safety hazard as well. So I got all four of them nice and tight. Now it's time to put the actual mount onto the wall. And then, like I said, all we're gonna do is once it's this is mounted, all we're gonna do is pick up the TV and slide it on here once we get these two side screws off. Right, as you guys could see, I just used a four millimeter drill bit to drill these two holes right here. So now we're good to go. All we have to do is put our mount and you guys could see like the arrows are pointed up. That means it's gonna go up just like that, this way right here. And uh, if you guys are using a behind the drywall you need a, a stud finder because you got to find those studs uh, never mount something like that's that's so heavy just on drywall alone okay so now we have our screws that it came with all we have to do is screw these two in now here's the bottom one let me just tighten it up real quick Okay, you guys can see it's on there, it's on there good. Now you can see I could kind of rotate this everywhere and then I could even bring this out and then this also rotates itself. So we are looking good so far. All we pretty much have to do now is pretty much 
just hang the TV on here. And then we're going to have to unscrew these bolts right here. And then uh, go ahead and put them back in once the TV is on. All right, guys, time to hang the TV. So what we have to do is put it right on there. But don't just let go because it's kind of like it'll probably fall off if you just let it go. But it's nice that it kind of holds the weight for you. And then what you want to do is grab the two screws that we just took out on top here and just go ahead and screw them in like so. We want to screw, screw them in with the screwdriver, but just kind of want to get one in there so the TV's not falling or anything. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, guys, I tighten them up. And as, as you guys can see, we could rotate this any which way and whatever direction we want to. It's very mobile like that. That's why I bought this and because it was, you know, rated pretty much number one on Amazon. So we went ahead and purchased it. And guys, I'm already loving uh, it could move all the way around and it could even go up and down a little bit depending on how you guys want it. But this is going to be perfect for my office slash recording studio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I definitely recommend the mount.